The minor hockey systems across the country are the breeding grounds for tomorrow's professionals. And tonight, we check out the action in the nation's capital with Brian Smith of CJOH-TV. I think it's fair to say that since the NHL began back in 1917, no area has produced more hockey players per capita than Ottawa and the Valley. Many of those who went on to pro hockey stardom likely learned how to skate right here on the Rideau Canal. There's not enough time to mention all the Ottawa players currently active in the NHL. Certainly Detroit's Steve Eiserman comes to mind and Tim Higgins of the New Jersey Devils. Certainly Ottawa's climate has a lot to do with the number of players being produced for the NHL. If you look around the city, there's all kinds of outdoor arenas. And there's more than 30 indoor arenas within a short driving distance. Along with one of the best minor organizations you'll find anywhere. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't as enthusiastic about the ODMHA and the people that uh, are running it and the people that work within it. They really are enthusiastic people, putting in literally hundreds of hours. We have in the minor system over 18,000 boys participating in hockey at one level or another. The competitive program uh, involves about 6,000, between 6 and 7,000 boys. The rest are house league or recreational players. Also, the uh, development programs that have been instituted in the ODHA the certification of the coaches that are training the boys, the certification of the officials who oversee the games as referees and uh, linesmen. Our boys in this part of Ontario, I think, are fortunate probably to have the highest caliber in all these areas. With that kind of organization and enthusiasm, Ottawa's hockey tradition is bound to continue. Maybe someday we'll even get another franchise and return to the NHL. Smith in Ottawa. Eddie Westfall with the second period highlights when we return live from Landover, the Canadians and the Capitals.